here's one of my uh, uh, crystal glue cells that don't contain any glue. Um, yes, no glue was used in this uh, making of this cell. As I was just pointing out, right, the smaller one is just the smaller version of this one. Um, I was looking for to make smaller cells at the time, but I also was looking for to see if there was anything in the glue making these things tick the way they do and find out the glue is not vital to the success of this uh, cell but having the glue just makes the cells so much better it protects it um, the glue kind of acts like a dielectric so it stores some energy but um, yeah I was just testing it uh, all I did is use some salt substitute and Epsom salt uh, I dunked it in uh, both salt into a uh, water a bowl had water in it dumped it in heavy solution of both in it started up then took some notebook paper uh, strips of it and just dumped in the water soaked it in for a little bit a couple seconds took it out and took these uh, two uh, metal wires just copper and aluminum and wrapped the uh, copper first then I got some wraps around that one then I took the and started wrapping the aluminum too and this is what I got. I let it dry for 12 hours and it sells. It's, it's hard. It's not wet anymore. Um, but it produces power. I got the meter on right now. I'm going to hook it up. Show you guys what kind of power is receding in this one. About 0.605-ish around there. And like I said, this is the copper and uh, aluminum cell. So this is not the powerful cell, but it's... Um, it's a proof concept and like I said it's not as strong as the glue cells because the glue cells kind of held uh, power because the glue is kind of dielectric material so it will hold a stronger power to it so yeah this is just mostly to see if the glue affected it and glue is not a major component but it does help out a lot so there you have it